families share a moment to remember loved ones lost to gun violence. Among them is Cleopatra Crowley Pendleton, the mother of Hadia Pendleton, who was shot and killed in Chicago in 2013. Her death came just one week after she performed with her high school majorette squad at US President Barack Obama's second inauguration. Following the tragedy, Hadia's friends commemorated her life by wearing orange. It was taken, it was borrowed from the theory of hunters the when they're in the forest. The thing you can see on a cloudy, rainy, whatever kind of day is the bright shade of orange so you know not to shoot. The Wear Orange campaign spread, picked up by organizations nationwide to honor all those impacted by gun violence. So it's definitely been adopted by a lot of different um, people internationally and it's very symbolic of how concerned people are with the issue of gun violence um, in their communities. It was here on January the 29th, 2013, where Hadia Pendleton was shot and killed. She was just 15 years old. An honor student, she was standing with her friends after finishing her final school exam. Her killer apparently mistaking her for a rival gang member. This is the 11th annual Party for Peace, organized by Hadia's family. The goal, to create a safe environment for children and families to come together. So us creating a safe haven every year, annually, um, for this is like, we can make sure kids can be kids. Last year, there were nearly 2,500 shootings in Chicago alone. And although that number was lower than the previous three years, it still amounts to about one shooting every three and a half hours. What we want to see is not just a decrease in gun violence across Illinois, but we want it to end, and it needs to end. And in order to do that, we have to not only pass common sense gun laws that keep our communities safe, but we have to work on the root causes, provide opportunities and resources, equity for black and brown communities. Hadia's story is also one of hope and her family is determined to continue to search for solutions to gun violence. It's grown because so many people can see themselves in this movement. If, if not firsthand, they've seen other people try to survive having been a part of this, and they want to mitigate the likelihood that it can happen to somebody else. Hadia's tragic death rocked a family and a community. There have been many more deaths by gun violence since then. But those here are resolved to keep advocating for victims and steering young people away from guns and gang violence. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.